The 2009 critically panned film Fanboys follows a group of nerdy Star Wars fans who take a cross-country trip to George Lucas's Skywalker Ranch, so their dying friend can see a screening of The Phantom Menace before it's officially released. It might be a bit shocking to hear me defend this film because I made a 16-minute video criticizing geeks, but this movie doesn't actually celebrate any of the things I criticized in that video. Instead, the film, directed by Kyle Newman, is a critique of nerds and arrested development. At the beginning of the movie, it's established these men have crummy jobs, no dating prospects, and no future. They just live in the moment, and the only thing they seem to be passionate about is Star Wars. The guys essentially treat it like a religion. There are multiple sequences where the nerds recite scenes from Star Wars like an evangelist quotes the Bible. Even when faced with a dilemma, they make it about Star Wars. Instead of, what would Jesus do, they ask, what would Luke Skywalker do? I just figured if I worked hard, sold enough cars, impressed my dad enough times, and I, I'd feel something. You gotta find your Death Star. Okay, I'll bite. Greatest deed, Luke Skywalker ever did was take down the Death Star, right? As far as I'm concerned, that's what everybody needs. They need that one badass thing that lets you live on forever, you know? Although a lot of movies and TV shows depict nerds in an endearing, all shucks kind of way, Fanboys is different because Newman wants these guys to grow up. And eventually, reality does hit them while they are on the trip. They understand the severity of the situation and that their best friend is going to die very soon, so it kind of puts things into perspective. The friends bond with one another and learn more about themselves. Now, they don't all exactly grow up by the end of the movie, but there is some progress. There's a particular insightful scene toward the end of the movie where a couple of them discuss regret. It's a great moment because we see these characters at least trying to work on themselves, which is important and it might lead to them backing off from this obsession with childish things, and it could help them prioritize the things that matter most. I just, I wish I could change these last three years, you know. You know, I wouldn't want you to. You gotta keep the floss. Crappy effects, real puppets. That's what makes it so good, you know? Yeah. So this was never about the movie. You know, this was, uh, this was about all of us. So authentic people are flawed. Being human means you are imperfect. That's kind of his point. There are people who will punch themselves forever, completely sabotage relationships because they feel guilty about something they did in the past. Then on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have people who don't take any responsibility. And you have to find that middle ground where you're able to forgive yourself but still recognize the mistakes you've made. Sounds kind of simple, but surprisingly a lot of people don't know how to do it. Moving on from that, when we reach the end of the film, the friends gather together to finally watch The Phantom Menace and we hear the best line of the movie. I mean, really think about it, because one day we're all gonna die, and what will you have lived for? Slaving 9 to 5 at a job you hate? Worshipping movie franchises made for kids? Watching the TV, turning off the TV? Newman is warning us, and if you ignore his guidance, the greatest memory of your life might be the one time you went to the premiere of a shitty Star Wars movie. <laughs> 